Hey pinball fans, it's Chris again. This is part five in the series where we're going to install the components. So I hope your project's going well. Remember, if you don't have the components, you can order them on my website, gerberdesigns.com. Look for Bally MP Repair Kit. That'll give you all the resistors and capacitors and parts to repair that corroded area of the board. And then also, don't forget to get the remote battery holder kit as well. Get those NICADs off the board so this doesn't happen again and remote mount your batteries. So hope your project's going well. Enjoy the video. Let's get ready to install components. Begin by removing solder from the through holes by carefully heating the solder pads and using the solder sucker to suck the solder out. Do not apply heat for too long as this can damage traces on the board. Now we are ready to start reassembling the PC board. Reinstall C37 through C40, which were lifted in the lower right corner. We only lifted one leg of these as they are not included in the kit. They typically do not receive corrosion damage. Apply heat generously here as the thick ground area takes away heat quickly. Resolder one leg of L2 which has been removed. Select C5 and C3 from the package. Bend the leads of C5 as shown. Be careful to place C5 onto the board observing correct polarity. Clip the leads using a flush cutting nippers. Now install C3. Here is C1, R16, and R17. Bend the leads using a plastic lead forming tool. Start by soldering these on the top of the board and then on the back side. Mm -hmm. 
Here is a tip. Save the clipped leads as they make good jumpers for jumpers or fixing traces. VR1 is a 1N5237 dial. Be careful to look at this to make sure it is not a 1N4148 diode. Let's continue on with R112, R1, and R3. This is another example of a lead forming tool. I usually try to install components in an orderly manner, gold bands towards the top on resistors or to the left. Again, solder components on the top of the board when you have traces on the top to make sure a good connection is made rather than hoping the solder flows through the holes from the back side. Here's R140. Let's start by soldering him on the top. This is the 3906 transistor Q5. This transistor is above the Q1. 3904 is Q1. Try to bend the leads on these as shown so they fall into the holes nicely. Solder these from the top when connecting traces are on the top. Continue on with C80 and R12 and CR5 and CR7. These are the 1N4148 diodes. The band of these diodes must be towards the bottom of the board. This is critical. Continue on soldering the back side and clip the leads. This is R11. Bend these leads by hand, then solder. Now for the socket for U8. Apply enough solder to fill the holes and reach the traces on the other side, but don't over apply solder as you may short traces together. Some of the traces are not accessible from the top with the solder here.
Inspect the soldering to make sure sufficient connections have been made. Do not clip the leads on the back of the socket. Here is C13. Bend the leads and solder. CR44, CR8, the LED, R29, which is a half watt resistor, this is larger than the other resistors, R107, R28, R134, Q2, which is a 2N3904 transistor. On CR44, the banded end of the diode goes towards the bottom of the board. On CR8, the LED, the flat edge of the LED is to the right. Install, solder, and trim the leaf. Now for our final step is to install a short piece of solid wire to improve the ground connection from pins 18 and 19 of J4. Connect and solder this wire across pins 18 and 19 on the back side of the board and bend it around and solder to the ground trace. You may need to scrape a portion of the ground trace to have a clear spot to solder. You have now completed reinstalling all of the components, but do not put the ICs back in yet. Thanks for watching part five where now we've got the components installed and we're about ready to power up and test the board. So you'll find that in number six in the series. So six will cover testing the board and powering it up and trying it out. Please subscribe and like. Thanks.